Ricky Gervais upset pretty much everybody at the Golden Globes. Miss Universe shocked the world by suggesting two girls can't wear one crown. Mountain lions finally evolved to defend attacks from the rear. And this is the week that was in business analytics. This episode of The Week That Was is brought to you by C-Suite, a businessman who's not a CEO, CFO, or CIO yet, but still has a super sweet expense account. Oh, and uh, I comp business solutions. Big news at IBM. IBM Watson and Pathway Genomics made sick people everywhere tumble out of their wheelchairs with joy by announcing the alpha version of their OME app. The app uses genetic information to give more accurate advice to people looking to do the absolute minimum to maintain their health. Whirlpool and IBM have partnered to collaborate on cognitive solutions for connected appliances, with the goal of helping families save resources while delivering new and innovative consumer experiences, and possibly taking us one step closer to a global oh, washing, washing machine, machine apocalypse. 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 IBM partnered with SoftBank this week to help improve their Pepper robot, enabling it to become smarter and act more human than ever before. This should allow the futuristic robot to perform new and impressive tasks such as serving your favorite drink, not being able to walk upstairs, and creeping out the babysitter. And finally, IBM announced its new alert notification service for its cloud computing platform Bluemix this week. It gives users the ability to set up algorithmic notification for, well, pretty much anything from the sounds of it. So thanks to IBM for alerting us to this development. <laughs> you get it, right? Because it's a notification service, but you're not laughing. Yeah, well, if you don't get it, don't be embarrassed. It was pretty high, bro. Anyway, according to Google Trends, the search term big data is keeping people awake at night with prominent terms like business analytics and data warehousing tapering off over time. This is an ongoing trend since around 2011 when data got, well, bigger. Interestingly, the term cloud analytics doesn't seem to be catching on quite as fast as we all might like. So yeah, cloud. Tell all your friends about it. Heck, tell anyone. Much of the interest comes from the US, the EU, and the UK, as you'd expect. But watch out for India, who is dominating searches for business analytics phrases these days. What's that? You want to know more about IBM? Okay, let's check out how our favorite analytic products are performing against their competitors. Cogno seems to be firmly embedded in second place for searchability these days, only occasionally challenging Hyperion for top spot. Let's hope IBM work out a way to create some buzz around the new rebranded Cognos Analytics in 2016. Hey, IBM, what about bringing back those ads with the blue bars? <laughs> they were cool. So as you can see, all the analytics products are getting less popular over time though, so hey, let's all put in a little more effort, okay? On the blogs, not sure if this whole cloud thing is for you yet. InfoCat had a good two-part article evaluating the pros and cons of puffing up into the cloud. And that's the week that was in business analytics. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the week that was, make sure you don't miss the next episode by subscribing here on YouTube or following iComp on social media using the links on the attractive end screen. It is attractive because, you know, like, listen, our graphics guy puts a lot of work into this. He's lonely, he wants his dad to be proud, and he's talking about suicide. So please help us out. Got something to say? There is a section for that below. Let's troll each other. Are you people still here? What are you waiting for? Uh, factoid? Okay, uh, what do we got? Did you know that the average human index finger can click, well, say, a like button 1.754 billion times before risking serious injury, carpal tunnel, or nerve death? I didn't just make that up, I got it off the internet. Now, why not give it a try? It'll make us feel a little more wanted, and we really do crave approval. I mean, come on, what do we have to do? Start unboxing toys? Who writes this crap anyway?